This clip is brought to you by VegasWinners.com. Get expert sports betting advice from some of the best handicappers in the world. Head on over to VegasWinners.com and win yourself some money. Uh, very nice. Well, listen, when WCW was sold, you're not immediately brought into the WWF at the time. What were your conversations like at that time with the company? So when the company was bought out, I was told right off the bat that uh, they were interested in me, but they wanted me to let my WCW contract run out. Once it ended, that we would sit down and do business. I thought that it was uh, a nice way of saying, no, we're not interested <laughs> because a lot of contracts were bought out. Right. You know, Chavo, Booker's, a lot of guys. So again, I, I, I'm thinking, is Vince really going to open up the doors for me because he doesn't believe in small guys? You know, um, I don't, I think, yeah, at the time, at the time. Yeah. Um, and I, I would hear that sometimes from Nash, from Hall, but, um, you know, I never lost hope. And sure enough, when that contract expired, uh, JR reached out and said, okay, we're ready to do business. And that's when I signed. So they kept their word. Ray, real quick here, when you signed, going back to kind of your, you know, you're evolving into the WWE, when you sign, are you expected to be a cruiserweight or are they basically saying, hey, we're excited to see you work with guys like Kurt and work with some, uh, you know, Triple H and, and some of the, the big boys? What, did, what does that conversation look like? I had very few communication with, uh, with uh, um, creative at the time, uh, because I, that, that was something that I, that I picked up way too late in my career in WCW. I kind of just show up, showed up to work and whatever match I had, I would go out there, put on a banger and move on to the next night. You know, with WWE at the beginning, it kind of happened the same. Uh -huh. Um, I was never really given a direction on which way we were going. Although they did say that they wanted to push the Ray Mysterio brand. So, um, you know, they kept their word. We went, we went all the way from the beginning. Um, now I know we're going to talk about this in a minute, but, um, Kurt was the first one to kind of take me by his arm and, and, you know, bring me into, to the circle of trust because it, it is all about trust. Well, thank you, Ray. <laughs> Hey, hey, it's Conrad Thompson. Thanks for checking out the podcast here on YouTube. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and the notifications bell so you get a notice anytime we upload some new content. And go save yourself some money right now. If you're in a 30-year loan or you have credit card debt, it's not a matter of if I can save you money. It's a matter of how much. Find out right now for free at SaveWithConrad.com.